Haile Selassie continued, and he said this, It is international morality that is at stake. Apart from the kingdom of the Lord, there is not on this earth any nation which is superior to any other. It is us today, it will be you tomorrow. Brothers and sisters, there's no excuse, you know, and why I say that, not because I'm just seeing it in the eye, but I'm seeing that reflection also that was in I as well. You know, when we make the excuse and we say God is in control, you know, you know, God is, uh, he, everything's uh, like, is, everything is in his hands, but he has given us a responsibility, even the church, even to the church, the true church, right? If you're a member of the body of the King of Kings Christ, then you know what I'm speaking about. If you're not, then we say, repent, seek him, seek him while he may be found, seek him, but there's no excuse right because many like to use that excuse that you know god is in control right god is in control well for a faithful for a believer right for a believer for one who our mains and give credit and credence right who recognize the almighty that the king of kings right that the almighty is credible I, we don't say Abba Father's incredible. No, Babylon is incredible. It's incredible that people, it's not credible. It's not credible when one say, well, God is in control. And if you truly believe in him, right, if you say you're one of his children, then you have the yay and amen, what the word says right here about the heavens, right? The heaven, even the heavens are Yahweh's, but the earth hath he given to the children of men. It's very clear. That means there's a responsibility. And because humanity, and we're speaking about even those who are redeemed, you have too many defeated righteous men and women. Right? They admit that God is, is almighty and is in control and Christ is their savior. But yet, they're still shirking their responsibility to do the work, right? To do the work. They're leaving everything up to Jah, right? And they don't want to do the work, right? Both do the work of faith. See, it begins with the work of faith, having faith. Don't be a defeated, righteous man, you know, a woman like Lot, Lot was righteous, you know, Lot in, in the scriptures, Lot, you know, whose wife turned around, whose soul turned around and looked backward. He was a righteous, but he was a defeated righteous. Look at Abraham. He was a victorious righteous. He walked out on faith, right? He came out of the land where he was at when he was called. How long did I call you? How long? He, he came out. He didn't know where he was going, but he had, see, he walked by faith and not by sight too many of us looking at what's going on in the world and what they're doing is robbing you of your eyes it's in the eyes of the window to the soul they're robbing you of your eyes right? so you're forgetting about the goal right? you're forgetting about what the word really says that he has given us right? he has given us authority in and through his son and has enabled us with the Holy Spirit and with the word of truth Right, And we are not alone. He says he has not le left us alone. He says he'll be with us always. He says all power in heaven and earth has been given to him. So we as the true church, we recognize that all these things are under our feet. Right? We're not defeated. All of these things have been placed under our feet. Right? How are they under our feet? Well, if Christ is our head, and we are the body and all things have been placed under his feet then you know go figure let me go okay let me come again christ is our head and we as as the members of his body are the church and all things have been put under his feet all right, so that means all of these world, the world flesh and the devil and the devil possessed people, men and people, don't don't look at what they're trying to project to you. 
right? They're trying to project to you failure. They're trying to project to you, you know, defeated, to be a defeated righteous one because there's nothing that the enemy can do to undo what he has already done. It is already done. It is finished. His part is finished. Now it is our response right, to that ability that he has given us. So no excuse. No excuse. There's no excuse. Don't use that. God is in control excuse. All right. Now some would say, oh, you're acting like you don't believe in God. You don't believe. No, no. We brought the word to you. Then we bring the word to you. Let's bring the word once again. Here's the word once again. It says the heavens, mine, the heaven, even the heavens are the Lord. Now they're talking about going into outer space. I think the Senate, he said the Senate recently said that, you know, they gave permission, so called. They don't have the right, right? They don't have the right to so called give permission, but they gave, gave, they gave permission to so called mining in outer space, right? Mining in the heavens. Right? See, they're, they're violating Violation, violation, violation right? They don't have any right to the heavens See, it's very clear They are entering into domain that's not his The heaven, even the heavens are the Lord's But the earth he hath given to the children of men right? To the children of humanity Now this is Old Testament scripture The Psalms of David Right, yet when we bring it forward to the New Testament, we even have a greater victory, a greater ability if we would first do the work of faith, of accepting his word as true. Be it unto we according to his word. Word up. See, they put the word down. Right? We need the word up. We need to put the word up. Right in I and I hearts. We need to put the word up in I and I mind and I and I thinking. We need to put the word up in I and I speaking. Right? And then all seek ye first the kingdom of Elohim. And all things, right? And his righteousness and his that's the key right there. I had to catch myself right there. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And his righteousness. You see, the thing that stops people when they get into the God is in control. Um, addiction. It's, it's like an addiction. It becomes like a drug to say that. And then you can throw the hands up. Throw your hands up. Throw your hands up and say, oh, you know, shrug your shoulders. God is in control. You know, God is in control. Right? Have you given him your soul? Right? Have you, have you picked up your cross? And if you follow him, then you'll recognize that he said all power has been given to him in heaven and earth. And he has given that through his Holy Spirit, through spirit and in truth to we who are of his body. Right? And we who are the church, even the church of the firstborn. So no excuse. Many people like to say God controls everything. God is in control. Yet we, we have, have responsibility upon ground zero, upon level ground. Right? You know, because he who has all power in heaven and earth has given us through his son, right? Spirit of truth. His spirit. Right? His spirit. So we have to be in, breathe in him. Right? Breathe in his word. Right? Receive his word in our hearts and our minds to grow in grace and in the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ, Jesus Christos. Hallelujah. Praise be. The God and Father of our Black Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Ja rules. Ja man rules heaven. You know, Ja man. You know, Ja man rules. There's a man in heaven. Ja man rules Ja heavens. Yet upon earth, we. 
Rastafari, I and I, the children of the King of Kings and Christ, I and I. In God's sight, cause righteous laws are overdue, and this is a message that the ruler breakthrough through, and it's true. You know